so we're here with another install. This is a 71 Buick GS that's getting uh, two four inch coaxials in the dash and two six by nines in the back on the rear deck. And then we have a Bluetooth uh, retro style head unit um, going in for the radio. Um, stay tuned. Opened up the back here, pulled the rear bench out uh, to expose the carpet and we'll pull off the panel here run down underneath the carpet to get up to the front by the head unit. So we got the carpet uh, peeled up here and the rear armrest is coming off so we can feed wire up into the trunk. So feed underneath the carpet all the way to the kick panel. Kick panel is pulled back so we can get the uh, wires fed up under the carpet. Got the fuse box pulled out so we can access power wire up to the front and so far, that's what we got. We got the face plate off of the radio. And everything seems to just slide out. We'll be reinstalling the new one right back in here. We're just using a screwdriver, some electrical tape. We have a power and ground wire that runs through a grommet up there going underneath the hood. I'm running ground to the battery just because it's an older car and we want to get some updated cable and just make sure that we have the best connection. You could ground it to the frame, uh, but we're just gonna do this for extra measure. All right, so um, the ground wire we hooked up to the firewall in the back there. It's got a ring terminal on that piece. And then we hooked up the positive to the uh, terminal post on the alternator. And then we got the fuse in line here. We'll cover that in electrical tape, full things covered in that uh, wire sheathing all the way back to the firewall where it leads back there. So the power wire and ground wire are run through the grommet, run around here, and they are ran up into the dash location up in here. Uh, here we have the wiring harness for the speakers uh, from the back. They're pre-soldered on a heat trunk to the speaker connector on the back of the head unit. So we'll run these underneath the back of the seat and underneath the carpet here right up to the head unit spot. So I got uh, the remote wire, speaker wire, and RCAs. Uh, these extra two, the RCA and the remote wire are in case there's ever a subwoofer that needs to be added. So those are ran up into the back and ran out of the carpet. And they come out right to where the radio connects up here. Now you can see here the carpet's all back in place. Uh, the kick panels are back on, fuse panels mounted up, parking brake is remounted. We got the wires all zip tied together coming out the dash. And we're just gonna put this kick plate back on. Trunk opened up here. The uh, six by nines will mount underneath in the back. And we'll put a little bit of sound ending just to keep the baffle service. We're gonna keep this pretty simple on the install here and then Speaker cables will run down through. The old rear deck speakers, as you can see, the surround is worn out and they've seen their day. Uh, here's the new ones, uh, Pioneers, and three-way speaker, soldered terminals, um, twisted wire with a quick connect. And then in order to put it in place, there's laser cut acrylic spacers. Uh, just to stand off uh, the baffle a little bit. So here's the speaker mounting from underneath the rear deck. Uh, we got studs coming through from the speaker grill up top. And then here's the acrylic spacers. And then there's also one in between the driver. And the driver will just slide up right onto those threads. The speakers are hooked up here. We got the XT60 connectors here. Um, got the braided wiring harness uh, running back underneath the rear seats. Now that the speakers are all installed in the back here, I'm just going to put a little sound ending against that rear deck just to give it a little bit of extra uh, noise reduction. And then I'm also going to tidy up the wires here and get everything zip tied up. All right, so I just put one sheet of sound ending on there. There's not too much power or extreme sound quality here. So 
the wires are all tidied up. Um, the RCA cables are tucked away in case there's ever in need of a sub. And everything's done back here. All right, so here's the previous dash we did. Um, it was a four by 10. Um, and it had a mounting bracket that stuck out to the firewall. Well, we're running stereo now, so we got two coaxial four inch drivers. Um, and then I had to build a custom plate that would match the installation style there. So we have laser cut acrylic uh, baffle panels. Uh, the speakers are threaded insert into there. 3D printed uh, rising post, which is also threaded insert. And then milled steel uh, extension bracket uh, that slides out to the bolting mount location. Speakers again are soldered and all the wires are twisted and have XT60 connectors on them. So here's where the front speakers we mounted. I put a little bit of kill mat down just to stop any uh, sound from escaping as the speakers pressed up against the grill. I don't have foam in this scenario, but that would be the best solution uh, for making sure that the speaker's got a good seal around the rim there. All right, so there you can see the two drivers installed there at the bolts with the steel beam crossbar and then the kill mat up there. To show you what we're hooking up back here, um, so I just found the remote wire. So this means this is 12 volts when the key is turned all the way to ACC or the car is running. And then this is the plug for the radio for the ACC. And then we got our power, ground, and remote wire on the main harness. And then we have all the speaker wires hooked up and all the XC. XT60 connectors hooked up there. So those all go on the back of the head unit, along with the RCAs too, for if he wants to run a subwoofer in the future. The connections on the back of the radio and got the washers clamped on, uh, just like the factory head unit. And then we gotta put the face plate back on and put the knobs on. Now you can see the radio uh, is installed. It's got the face plate and the buttons. It's mm. got rear toggles a front knob, front knob, rear toggles, and all these push buttons. It's got all the modern features like Bluetooth, it's got EQing, um, tuning obviously, um, and you just push the key in, turn it on, and the radio turns on because of that 12 volt ACC wire. So now you can listen to all the music that you want.